just up. Welcome back to a new live stream. We're doing Alpha 20 reaction video. You guys know how this works. I'm going to react to basically what was displayed yesterday on the Fun Pumps live stream. Uh, I think they were showing some random gen. I think that's going to be quite interesting. And uh, yeah, just let everybody know I have no affiliation with the Fun Pumps. I don't get special abilities. Uh, I don't have any special access. None of the sort. So if you're asking me questions like, hey, when is the server, when is the Alpha 20 going to be out? When's the server going to be around? I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't give you that answer. However, we all believe that maybe the end of October that the Alpha 20 might release or maybe the beginning of next month. We'll see, we shall see. But let's get straight to it, guys. Let's start in 2013. react to uh, this stuff. A lot of games okay. And work on random jump. This basically just started, then, guys. Uh, let's see. We could also... Okay, so Eric is here also, but he's been here. He was here uh, for the level design night. So Thank I'm you, Fly, for the wave. donations. That's it. That's it. He doesn't get to do any sort of introduction. He just gets to wave at you. So, here we go. Say hi, Eric. It's not a okay, bug. It's, it. it's a feature. Okay, so anyway, we're going <laughs> to go back to Robert. <laughs> um, the most hated t-shirt so, ever. So, uh, yeah. Um, I think the plan is, okay, so okay. I need to do a little bit of pre before we get into the actual random gen stuff. I just want so to see this it. is the last dev stream. This is the last kind of show and tell stream that we are doing. Uh, next week, me, Rick, and Joel will be playing Alpha 20 on stream. And then, I don't know what the schedule will be, but we're going to get more people each week up until some point. Uh, yeah, I, I can't give you a date, but... Um, don't worry, there's going to be plenty of things still going on up until the release. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So I am now going to load up the game. Oh, and then, uh, just let you guys anything. know that I will be stopping midway through. If you guys want to go and... Um, I can't actually... 
copy a link. But uh, there will be a link down below if you want to go check out where I got the information from. You can just watch it without me babbling along. But I will be stopping and just giving my opinion on whatever, whatever. So that's good. I'm going to take it from there. Uh, yeah, guys, if you didn't know, I made 20,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for all the congratulations in the chat. It is pretty damn cool. Um, really happy. I'm going to probably have a video coming out. Maybe. We'll just see. Uh, 20k is quite a big number. But yeah, guys, I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this uh, this random gen. Either of you guys kind of want to start talking about while I do this? Or... Really, I guess I could just make it where they can see both of you. That's... I know that's always yeah. fun. Attention has. Probably don't need to see my little thing there. There you go. I like okay. his background. Let me so nice. the game you guys, I approve. Uh, tell them a little story about the changes you did in Random Gen. Alright. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead well, yes. um, well, once upon a time, Gen <laughs> wasn't what we wanted it to be. Yeah, Long exactly. ago, <laughs> no, an intrepid sorry. trio ventured off into imagination yeah. land to come up with new ideas in which to make our game better. We uh, we sat down in the beginning of A20. We're like, okay, how do we make this awesome so that we can finally all have something we really love and are really proud of? Um, and uh, a lot of that involved Brad, too. And he's not here tonight. He's out with his new new child um so uh i'm filling in but we were all kind of involved in the d early discussions and uh I'm, I'm gonna try to cover it as best as yeah, I, I can. i think he does a lot of gameplay today he goes around and shows with, proper uh, gameplay which I'm really along the way with the technicals and uh, uh, i'll help as much as i can mm -hmm. <laughs> so one of the things i think we, we wanted to do as a goal was uh we wanted to, there's a lot of things that you kind of can't do in code, like make it look and feel like a city and stuff like that. Um, so city generation was a big topic that we talked about and worked really close with Robert to, you know, offload, figure out how we could offload some of his problems on the content to make the code side easier while he would add code to support that offloading of things to content like prefabs and whatnot so and that goes into the new tile system that we can show tonight and talk about uh the tiles are the kind of the hero of all this uh in a way random gen so has been like the that worst system is pretty cool guess we get to ever since this that. game released <laughs> um, i hate random I gen so much you like highlights that we could huh. say that I still think, guys, I still think that, I know you, you probably all hate me on this, but I think they should scrap the idea of random gen completely. Yeah. Remove it completely. It's, it's, it's just, you're never going to get it properly. It, it's always going to have problems. And how much you want to bet there's going to be roads not connecting on here. There's just, it's, it's always going to have a problem. I think that they should rather invent a, a program where uh, players can build their own maps. There are ways to do that currently, but it's a bit complicated to do that. Um, not for just the average Joe. It's, it's quite complicated. And then make the community make their own maps. And that way you upload it to the workshop, for instance, and then you download the maps made by the community. And that way there's always new maps available, which is basically a like random gen because there's just constantly people making maps. I don't think random gen is a good idea uh, for any game except for Minecraft because that, yeah. So that's what I think they should do. And they should go back to Navigan and recreate it the way handmade. Then that way the game will feel so much better. And every alpha, they could release a new section to Navigan instead of having this random gen where there's always a problem. But hey, that's just my opinion. Thank you for the congratulations, guys. I appreciate it. Are in, um, but we're not here for that today. Well, I mean, having different districts is a thing, like a big thing. So you can have, like, a commercial district, an industrial district, a mm -hmm. residential, rural, and all these different uh, ones that come with vanilla. But then, after that, you can also add new districts and yes. your own tiles to add, like, a red light district, or I mean. Whatever it is you want to add. Yeah, modders are going to be able to go nuts. With that. There you go. Mm -hmm. So that's like 
similar to what I was talking about. Well, everything has to connect as kind of a okay. grid. There's like a few types. There's a that's cross, cool. which is like a four-way. That's that's a, that's like a good a step. E, you know, a, a dead end cap, like cul-de-sac thing, and then one that goes straight through, and with just those four shapes, you know, mixed with rotations and um, different variants. Like you can get a lot of. Well, hang on a second. So sure, reach handmade pre-designed is nice, but it gets boring when you have learned the whole map. But that's just the thing. When you have a community developing their own maps, there's always new maps coming out. Daisy Armor Two is a good example of this. When Daisy Two exo that Armor Two Daisy was out, there were so many hand custom maps made. To the, to the point where you just had so many, you never got to actually play all of them because there were so many of them. You get bored of one, you just move to the next one. It's the same thing as Random Gen. It's it's exactly the same thing. It's just that you, you'll you get to know your Random Gen map. Same thing. I, I, I still think that's better, that, that method. We've got 27 likes. Thanks, guys. I'm so hot today, guys. Whew, it coffee, is, don't it easy, easy. I'm turning you up a tiny bit. They're saying you're a little quiet. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want to blow my mic out by having it in front of no, my mouth. That's, that's fine. <clears throat> is that better, everybody? Can you hear me? Is that, that better? Testing one, two, three. Wait. Testing you would have to do one, that. <laughs> you would have to do that. Testing. A little testing, better? Okay. Testing. Then here. This, yeah, is okay. The, this is annoying. <laughs> okay. Now he should be better. Let's just get to the point. Like, let's just watch, like, uh, the... Audios. Here you go. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I see lions in the road. I see lions in the road. Sounds? That looks cool. Hear the in -game sounds? How did they do that, though? Mm. I mean, it'd be mm. fun to say yes, but no, I don't. No? Okay. Hold on. So, the well, new I mean, but, okay. hey, I grass and stuff I mean, is yeah. really good, actually. I mean, you wouldn't, but... Especially in-game hey, now. Everybody in chat, since I can't read chat, can you hear the sounds? No. No. Oh, come on, guys. What do you mean you can't? Here for the eye candy, but I don't want to. There's always like problems on the streams. Um, because I was messing around. Uh, give me just a moment. Hopefully. Uh, we'll just wait, guys. That's, that's I right got my coffee. That's going to make me even hotter, but it's fine. Uh, there are some interesting seeds out there on the web, though. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, guys, if you are here, it does help. Because that's, that's been my luck today, everybody. I've, I've actually had a little bit of sound problems today. And I'm just scared. I know. And this is why it's not released to you all. This is it, everybody. This is the reason. Because you don't hear sounds... <laughs> It doesn't so, matter with any sound. That's not true. You heard sounds it. last time. <laughs> okay. Well, you're just going to have to enjoy the sounds of our voices as we that's uh, fine by me. describe the stroll <laughs> through uh, Random Gen. Oh, my goodness, guys. So, is there a certain way you guys want me to go? We could uh, uh, try and find your way to straight. the center. You know, oh, my goodness. Some... That looks so much better. Than what we currently have, period. Oh, that, that's it. To enjoy the sounds. That yeah, is gonna make it so oh, much yeah. nicer to no, explore. Can't talk and drive at the same time. It's gonna no, feel I'm real. Not, I'm not that oh, talented, okay. everybody. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. So we have uh, this uh, district we put around the outside edges of a city called a rural district, and it has like looser fitting houses and looser street layouts, and that is like, nice. A bunch of stuff like you'd find at the edge of a town, like old town type of stuff. Oh! And then if he finds his way... That is so cool! Like it's like a cul-de-sac! I took the wrong turn. I took the wrong yeah. turn. Go around this <laughs> cul-de-sac. Man, that is so nice to see yeah. that type of stuff. So, I guess I should have shown that. Yeah, the yeah. driveway connector test we're yeah. working on. That's it's fine. See? I told you, everybody. There's... Yeah, he's noticed okay. something, but I haven't noticed it, like a bug somewhere with oh, the driveway no, doesn't connect. Oh, okay, wait. That's what? They've got like little alleyways behind the houses. Go that's so alley, cool. <laughs> I don't think they care about alleys. Do the street lights come on in the dark? I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah, that's a good question. So that looks like a transition to the uh, industrial district. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's one of the. The mini district. Oh man, this game needed this for so long, guys. Like seriously, they should have done this like long ago. I mean, it couldn't have been that hard, surely, to make tiles. 
Or, I mean, we can. can Actually, you guys tell me where to go. Uh, we can look at it later. We don't want you to get yeah. stuck right now. But. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going right back to rural. I think. Yeah. Yeah, go to rural. Well, I'll take that. That's a new anyways. POY there to the left, right. guys. Oh, it reminds me of Daisy Days. Let's Daisy had here. those things. Well, it looks like I can, I can hook back left, maybe? Yeah. yeah. That'll take you. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's tall point. buildings over there. I mean, it's, it's bound to go back, right? Yeah, guys, the, the previous stream we did, they showed off the color in the motorbike. You can now color your vehicles, your bed rolls, and your motorbikes, and any vehicle, basically. So you don't have the same color anymore. And it looks really nice. They did actually a couple of colors on the stream. So watch that previous stream, and you'll see, like, right at the end uh, that they showed off that stuff. I mean, if it doesn't, you can just, like, cut through anyway. But... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's another thing I'm kind of worried about, right? There's all these nice places, but do we have roaming zombies? Because currently, the roaming zombie thing is not actually a thing. I've never seen roaming zombies in my servers before. Uh, I would really like to see some roaming zombies. And it looks like he's actually playing on the server. Maybe he's got them turned off. I don't know. But roaming zombies would be nice. There's, there's More roaming. That's a little, a little pond, a little lake. Yeah, and to keep it from Fun, like being awesome. too grid layout, like some things it skips making a connection between like rural and the main part of town. So oh god! Be a okay, there is something telling me. Oh god! Ooh, radiation! Oh god! Oh god! You're on the edge of the map. <laughs> oh god! Yep. Waiting on that. I, I requested a radiation stamp like earlier today because the uh, radiation formula I had was a bit. Uh, it, it pushes out a ways. Yeah, and if the town gets too close, yeah. <laughs> oh. a Little drains on the back. side. Right. Assists. This is your way of telling me I should have went back whenever you told me to. I, I get it. Okay, we're going back. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> you have to learn somehow. I, I get it. There you go. Look yeah. right up here. Okay. Ho oh, oh. ho! That's gonna be so much fun. Imagine like a little PvP battle in the in the town. That'll be so much fun. You have like a sniper in the tower there, sniping down. Yeah, I think this is uh, what the downtown area. It's a random bunny rabbit. Yep, we're headed into this. downtown. Yeah, wow. No, no, no. This is this is gonna change it's, a lot of look things, at all guys. This fanciness, everybody. Let's so... hope it doesn't lag for like the low end PCs, guys. Because I know sometimes you go into like a really heavy city district. And the, the PC, uh, some guys just lag so much. And, uh, the downtown areas, a lot of the stuff is like really tightly packed. I, I mean, as you can see, and there's some areas like hidden areas in some of the tiles to, like for exploration. Are they mentioning new vehicles? No, there's no new vehicles coming. But you don't necessarily see them as we're in the next in the, in the new alpha. No, nothing. I'm driving a little yeah. slow. Just but there's vehicle mods coming. Seeing everything. Yeah, about, like, we, full need blast to, we need to, We don't through. need to fly through it and rush it too fast. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, it does look so much better, mice. <laughs> I'm so happy. Funpums, thank you so much, man. You guys have done a flipping good job. Man, this is just so great. I can sit and watch this all night. Uh, this looks like this road might go straight through town. It's amazing how well it's working. I mean, it's just like, I haven't seen any like issues with the roads not connecting and everything. It's like, wow. More spread out with parking lots and. Yeah. And I think we are stuff. now in commercial. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I would like so to see like the, the western. District now. Oh, uh, the. Uh, um, you know, players will get to learn the area. districts probably, but until you do, I mean, some of them are similar from May 19 or earlier a little bit. You know, we have commercial oh, stuff. Man. I'm so now, excited now. now. Stuff, but in the past, you might have only seen that. Kind of arrangement in Navis game. Oh, you know what I've noticed, this guys? Look here, look at the stop yet. You see, uh, in the, in the current alpha, I think it does this right. There is that gap uh, in some areas. Like there's no um, gap between the block and the ground. There's lots, like this big V, and that doesn't look like it's a thing anymore. I hope that's not a thing anymore. So, I hate I hated that so and, much. As uh, you know, modders, y'all can add a new commercial intersection. O2, O3, O infinity. Yeah, you hear that, and guys. have different variants to spawn in those positions. Like if it's a cross intersection, then you can have all those, like a bunch of variants for that, or a straight. You can have a bunch of variants for that. So, like, as the modders get more into this and start making more, and we start putting out more vanilla ones, like this will just get more and more different every time you play. Yeah, the more tiles, the more random it'll be. So, and there's like, you can add as many as we want and you guys can add as many as you want mm -hmm. the um, tile system is definitely the way to go scrap mechanic did that very well 
scrap mechanic did the tile system and it doesn't no, even just feel like it's random gen in, in, in scrap mechanic that's fine, though. That's, that's fine though let them soak yeah. it up man it's it's uh yeah. you know some of the little tea shots and stuff that people have seen are uh don't really do it justice um yeah because we've been holding it back to reveal now and uh it you know even even though a lot of us have been looking at this stuff for months and months and months it's now it's still fun to look at it's still yeah. it's still <laughs> like where you drive around just kind of like wow I just, oh look at that oh wow okay, go in there to test something then like 45 yeah. minutes later be like oh yeah, yeah. i gotta <laughs> it's amazing how far this yeah, game's come like we're trying to work and we're driving around like wow this is cool you know it's like oh and, they uh, didn't have a prowling pizza over there before that's cool <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, no, turn up. I can you imagine. Have the, uh, you have, did you let everybody know? Like, you get pretty you know, cornered yeah, in these alleyways. alleyways and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The I didn't let everybody know, but yes, the zombies are off, so that we yeah, can I, I think it see the not, world. Zombies are off. Not have to fight or do. And, and the sound is off too, so that you can enjoy the world. Also, I forgot to say <laughs> that. But that's definitely it's definitely not sure. a bug. It's just mm -hmm. it's just I wanted you to enjoy every bit of it. And that's just the way I the do. Silence how to do is it. more so, enjoyable. You're welcome, chat. You're welcome. Um, yeah, is there another downtown? These are, no, he's these going are around in circles now. He's been here. I want to. I no, want him to go in that parking lot. That's so cool. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> yeah, I see, Lathan is getting so... lost in the in the vibe. Oh, right over there. Yeah, that area is pretty cool. Go down, please go down there. I, I, go I saw down. that in the other thing. You yeah, did. sure. Like a, um, I know okay. that. Um, I'll hook back around. Or maybe this one of and the Brad's sewer. tiles that he designed a lot oh, of the tiles. Oh, that one. Or should I go on that one? Should I go on that one? You can. You can. You want, if you want to get off the bike and. Um, I mean, it's dangerous well, out here. I wouldn't try to drive. I mean, you probably can drive your bike around down there, but you might get stuck. No, know, no, no. I'm not going to do that. No way. Um, okay, so they brought up having a headlamp, and then I ignored them. So I apologize, everybody. It's like a little yeah, sewer system. Should be good. What if I just... Well, yeah, that's fine. Let's just break out the torch. There we go. Oh, imagine Horde Knight yeah, inside like this. Ideas. I can think of lots of videos, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like, hey, you know, you have that torch on your bar. You could just oh. use that. <laughs> I'm loving this, guys. Every single bit of this. Keep bringing us this and I'll be happy. Isn't there more? Hold on. There's this way. So, something to bring up with this is that, yes, the tiles, although not all of them have... Uh, you know, tons of explorable space. Um, they are kind of like real prefab content, just like the POIs are in the sense that we do have spaces underground or in certain areas that uh, you can explore. And uh, Giant headphones. What are you talking about? Something, my headphones. What's that? Like, what's that? I talked about earlier. Uh, um, a man like how cool would it looks be like if you're running an hour? Yeah, it looks like it's actually pretty round. Or do this thing. And there's a little bit of exploration available. In, in a lot of these. chasing you on horde night and you run into yeah, the freaking um, sewer system running from them <laughs> yeah so yeah it's pretty cool that so many new POIs you have little nooks and crannies you can go it's like a police station it really adds it adds a lot you, you almost don't realize it oh, until yeah. you're running through a city and you're like oh I'm gonna go down in there I didn't even notice some of those like spots until I was like I'm just gonna have some zombies chase me around downtown and check frame rates and then like they started chasing me and i was panicking and running and like ran down into it and was like holy crap there's like a whole area down here <laughs> yep and then they cornered me and i died or well i went god mode but i would have died <laughs> i would have died but i don't let them kill me the only thing that with like seven days to die the graphics are very um gritty uh very um grainy you know they don't look the best especially when you put all these things in um all together you can see how uh grainy it comes uh, although it's this graphic it's you know it's, it's improving nah. every year okay well. yeah ken uh michael ken michael yeah good luck with that man i don't know what's your problem but uh bye uh, dante is gonna just like completely destroy you in the chat if you're gonna say ugly things <laughs> he's he's he doesn't like my headphones guys they're too big for him you know they're too big these headphones are the best headphones that I could find, and I wish I could find better, and I just cannot. Give me re recommendations in Discord, please, because these are flipping good, and for the price, jeez. Yeah. 
That's that's industrial over there. I want him to go further out. I Why is he scared? Of I, lost my bike. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you, you I got just, so lost in exploration. I, I didn't really. I mean, <laughs> I, I can go find it, but I mean, it's you can just you know, give yourself a four by four. Yeah. And with the new guns and all that, exploring all this. Zoomed in too much. Oh, he's driving a white Jeep. Look at that, guys. Okay. I like that. So what do we got over here? I think we looked at this. Is this coming yeah. out soon? Or that is color it looks really like cool. I like the green color. If you watch the previous stream, it was green. It was so nice. It's, Definitely going to be using that. coming out whenever we get done. <laughs> but soon? I mean, it's really both of the answers that yeah, you it, supplied. It, it, it's both. I mean, it's... <laughs> yes. I mean, you guys don't want to... You guys want us to fix bugs, don't you? I mean, come on. Yeah, so, you're going to be very disappointed if you get the build and then it's it's broken on day oh, one. Hey, check out the uh, the rural area. They got fields and uh, hay bales. Oh, look! Stuff. There's a there's a tile with a pond in it. Look at that. Ooh, That's cool. that is fancy. I can't drive. It's, uh, <laughs> well, you have a barricade there too. Yeah. I know. I noticed that now. I like the cross. Uh, aim aim like for the hole in the barricade. Well. We have some that's been put into the design that, uh, of the tiles that vehicles can get through <laughs> spaces. So I if you know where to drive, because <laughs> I'd squeeze through and I'd be like, "Man, that's exactly the right size to squeeze through here on a four x four." I wonder if they did that. Yeah, right. hmm, I wonder how that happened. Just imagine a, oh, look, a pink color. Again. Oh, that looks much better. To see. Clever, there you go. Clever level designers. Yeah, so we're back in rural again. Rural. <laughs> that new grass <laughs> texture that they've added. Everybody, I have so much problems saying rural. rural. It does stand out a lot better than oh, what we had. Boards, Look at the dead end that they've got here. It's like a, just a. <laughs> that looks like a mess. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Should I hit the open road or is that. Yeah, that I No, they, have they not done the open road? That's uh, a uh, there. there might be. Uh -oh. That's happened twice. Whoa. Whoa. What happened? Uh, so they've done the towns, but way. not the open road. Uh, it doesn't want us going south. And actually, remember, radiation is that's sad. south. Oh, yeah, you don't want to go over there. Yeah, I, I don't want to do that again. I, um, I tried it. It's not so as fun as still the same road. That's just a bit uh, weird. Yeah, I mean, you would think it, it'd be enjoyable. It tickles, but, but it really just didn't. For the first I imagine how hard that must be to, to code, though, <laughs> to have a, a whole road like that. You know, so it's understandable. Okay. And um, with the wilderness, uh, a lot of the POIs uh, have roads that can match the size of the like driveways and such. So like, they'll go from thicker to thinner, and as, as it goes out, and you always know if you're on a wilderness like gravel road, if you come along a thicker road, it's going to lead you towards the the highway. There, we just passed one on the left. There it was a little. Yeah, thicker. the grass has changed, guys. One here's one right here. Not the same. Yeah, there's a big it's one. got better graphic, better graphics now. I don't know what that is. It's it's a dirt oh, path. Probably a so this is random gen, eh? Moving bug from. This is please drive up there. Yeah, it's fine. No, let's uh, let's go back to the main road. I wanted to see up there. Uh, that's that's yeah. a good. Lathan's gonna get really lost. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a good oh, way to show the random gen. I mean, if it goes up the hill nicely. So... The roads do look good though. That they're smooth. See, it's. I want to bring up that it was a genius idea of me to uh, to mute the sound, so that we could hear you guys talking about all these things. So, uh, mm -hmm. you're welcome, chat, and uh, you're welcome, guys. So, if you want to just keep uh, you know talking about stuff, yeah, you know, it, it divides nicely. It's really not that bad. It's much better than what we've what we've had in the past. Muting. From what I see, I'll have to play it to. To make sure, but yeah, it's it's <laughs> definitely looks better. I want him to go on one of the dirt roads though. But the roads are so smooth. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice, isn't it, chat? Aren't these roads? It, they're still a little bumpy in spots. A little but, bit, yeah. but I mean, it's not that bad. I've seen worse. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen worse. That's like the. <laughs> that's all of us can say that. Eric, make some uh, make some car sounds while we're driving, if you don't. Vroom, vroom. 
<laughs> Does the vehicle okay. drive up hills now? I never yeah. had a problem with vehicles uh, driving up hills. So yeah, is there anything know. else you guys want to? Because uh, oh, should be you run. Oh, follow that gravel path. Go back. Yes, I want to see what. Just drive uh, down it. At the yeah, end of this drive path. Down. It's pretty wide. Jump some of the wilderness stuff. Okay. You can drive around some more, and then later on we can show some tiles or something. Yeah. Is he driving slower on... Or is he not just pressing shift? Ooh, See, there's that me. gravel path leads to that big fort. Then there's a little thin one that goes oh, off. Wow, look at that. It's like a little it's gravel still, path. Probably something smaller. Um, since we're around in the sort of the wilderness zone... That is that is cool. That, stamps that is really nice. Oh, that yeah. is, that, that's... Um, so our stamp system is a lot like the tile system with the scale. Makes it feel uh, so we real. Have obviously, the different biomes, but we have mountains, hills, and plains stamps that you, variants you can have. And um, for us, we're using a proprietary format that uses uh, one red channel and a blue channel. But uh, for you guys, you can just use the PNG, and it's just a height map. And we have a base level uh, that's like at 32 across the board is the height, <laughs> and then everything's based around that. So, like, the. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. You know what? I just wanted to leave it here, everybody. I'm going to. I wanted to hoof it on foot. I feel like I was going through stuff too fast. So, you, we're you just going to. Gonna... Yeah, you meant to do that. This is, this is a night of a lot of meaning to do stuff. Um, go ahead so, and continue. <laughs> yeah, so like if you had a desert, like you want mesas in the desert for the mountainous bits, then you can just make desert underscore mountains underscore 02 or 01, whatever to start with. And then anytime it's a, a <clears throat> mountain tile in a desert biome, it would use that stamp or one of the variants. And rotates it and scales so it, much and the scaling it's range can even be super set clear. That's my favorite part, I think. Okay, well, I lost the path whenever I did the vehicle. Um, well, I've still noticed this, guys. There's still a lot of nothing in the forest. There's like, I, yeah, I know it's a forest, but I don't know. It just feels like there's a lot of nothing. What's the point of being out there? It looks much better now. But, I don't know, just have some sort of different biome grid or something to, to explore, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm just being picky, but it just feels like a lot of nothing. Just trees, which is which is good, I guess. Do you not have the POI teleporter? I mean, I do. Uh, do we want Those to little plants do look better. I still, I still think POI they're 2D, though. Teleport to it? Maybe, yeah. uh, what about, what do you think the Old West? Uh... When the stream is weekend? Oh, yeah, we can uh, show I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. I forgot. I don't release that. dates. Uh, I will be streaming on stream at the weekend, guys, so make sure uh, one of the, like, when I do announce RWG it, when they announce it, then yeah. Oh, uh, okay. And I'll drop you right there. Oh, is there still a desert next to the uh, snow? No, they dropped you close. There it is. Yeah. There's this, there's, there's, okay. Ooh. I suppose it does happen, but it's a bit weird. Wow. And this is one of the themed towns. And uh, one of the things in the new random gen that we also allow is we used to have just the uh, cities, towns, and country towns. Well, now we allow you to make any township you want. You can make a new one of your own style, huh. your own tiles, your own districts, all of it. And you can control the size of it, how big it would, like how many tiles total it should have in it, and then it'll organically grow out from that. And it allows things like this Old West theme town. Hmm. That's a new POI right there to the left. Some sparks outside. What's that? Uh, Rex. Is that a new trader? Rex, since we're here, and I don't think they've seen it. That's a new trader, everybody. Go for it. That's that's not. I'm glad they added new traders, well, guys. What was the question you were not? That you can't hear wrecked cuss at us. <laughs> um, it's like a little fall. But I did this for you, um, so you didn't have to hear it. What's up, dude? Uh, I'm not gonna grab any quests. <laughs> Let's uh, 
Next week, we'll be doing some questing. Um, okay. Do you want me to teleport to another? Um, something or other? Yeah, go to the POI thing and type in food truck. Yeah, we'll show them how the, the parts and, like, how they spawn inside of the, um, the Wait. tiles. Yeah. Food uh, trailer? Um, yeah, any of the part underscore ones. Sweating. And these are the parts, so, like... <clears throat> Whenever you're editing a prefab, like a... So before we, we continue here, i just let you guys know, I am just a content creator for this game. I'm not, uh, I, I don't, I'm not a developer. I'm just watching this. This is game. I'm doing this basically with my audience to watch it with them. Just something to do for fun. And uh, there's really not much else to do right now. I'm just like two bricks out of Alpha 20 and I, I nothing else to do. I can't seem to play Alpha 19 now because now I've seen all the good stuff and I can't go back. Yeah, that's what happens. Tile for random gen, you can add these oh. heart spawn markers, and you pick which POI it is. Oh, look at that. Underscore. We've seen something like that and before. And you can give it a chance to spawn, and it will, like, possibly spawn in that spot. And if you have multiples under the same grouping, it'll pick one or the other. So the first one that spawns, it just escapes out and doesn't try to spawn anymore from that group. So you, you can allow a lot of variation in little areas and this one <clears throat> actually this one's inside of a wilderness poi so you yeah, can even um, use the poi spawner or the part spawners inside of other pois yep parts are basically mini pois that you know like you could place an ambulance with a bunch of nurses around it by the side of the road and it could maybe not always spawn it might or spawn something else it could spawn the army truck with some army soldiers the next time. So you could have a little prefab that's configured to be a, a setup of whatever you want and have it spawn in kind of randomly. You can have more random little yeah. vignettes can, of storytelling and whatnot. Yeah, having the sleepers, and it can dig down into the ground. Um, what's the part for the the uh, under construction area for the streets? I'm sure we have one in this map. Ambulances. Yeah, Ambulances have already been be in the game for a while. It's just an asset. It's, it's, it's been wrenching. They've the been around for a while. Tiles. I can't remember. Is it like construction? Um, yeah, you might be. Able just to... type in construction for the. Wow, search. there's so many new POIs. It's crazy. One of those three? How about oh the... no. No. That's not it. Just go. Uh, yeah, any downtown tile. RWG tile downtown. Uh, let's see. How about we do? I think that's where we were. That's where we may have been. That one? Sure. I mean, it may have it's one, it may yeah. not. That's because it's a it's a random chance. Can you... Um, you don't oh, wait. This is the same city we were in, isn't it? <laughs> My city. No, it's... Yeah. Hard, guys. I had no choice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Crap, it is. Yeah. So we don't have one in this one, but there's ones that can dig down into the ground and, uh, like... The whole area, the whole streets will be blocked off and oh. like various things like that. And you can spawn zombies in them. I mean, we may, like, who knows where we're going to take that as we move forward. Because it allows the level to I like that there's a, a PO, POI teleporter now. That's always been in the game. Tell us like what it's been since Alpha 19, I think. Well, Alpha 18 or something like that. It's currently in the game now. <clears throat> so it's like a snow town. Now the random gen is looking really, really, really good. It's just so much better. It's like street lots and everything. Oh, look, and Wait, we're not stopping. None of our cities now look so urban. Yeah, it's. Oops, I'm moving too fast. I'm happy. It's perfect. Uh, I have nothing to complain it's, about. It's, it's so down. much better than what we've had, and I can see so much potential for modders and even the fun pimps like the next Alpha Alpha Twenty One or something. They can add more of these things. Much easier for them to put them together than having yeah, individual POIs. This is, uh, this is looking really good. Chat, what do you think? Are you enjoying what you're seeing? The in-game map screen. I haven't There's seen it. Another city. I think we can click to. Also. Yeah, you know, I think it. I think it may be. Maybe. Maybe the same. Because we're just kind of flying through. Them. But there's so much here. I mean. Here. Oh, look. Over here. 
I hope they revamp the old POIs. There's barely any old new POIs. They've been doing this like since Alpha 18. They've been revamping these old POIs. In fact, there's like one or two that are super old, but that's it. There's just no longer old POIs. Talk about because yeah, I think we're back into the residential kind of. Yeah. Um, one of the things uh, is prefab tagging and sure. like uh, prefab min max sizes. Um, Eric, I don't know the sizes offhand, but you could explain those, the default POI marker sizes. Yeah, um, we ended up, um, this was actually one of the larger bulks of the work that we did um, as part of this random gen update was we had to pick, uh, the tiles need to have consistent sizes of POIs, so we had to come up with size buckets for the POIs, and uh, we came up with extra small, small, medium, large, um, and those correspond to certain actual metered sizes, like uh, extra like small, that like road. 25 by 25, right? You went to the so same town. <laughs> space, and then uh, the, dude was that the small is uh, 42 by 42, and then medium is 60 by 60, and um, Large is 100 by 100. Um, we had to we had to kind of make all the content fit into those buckets in order to so that they could consistently fit into tiles without sliding all over and being, you know, either too big or too small or ending up spawning in a weird spot. Um, and so we had to adjust a lot of the POIs to fit that. And then the tiles had to be built to accommodate these place marker sizes uh, that tell a POI of that size to spawn in there. So there's a lot of moving parts to it, but um, you know, players who are editing the game or modding it don't need to know all of that necessarily. Um, they can make whatever tiles they want, uh, or add new districts, or you know. This looks so good. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I. As far as the RWG tiles, I think that's uh, 1630. I wish you would like fly around a bit, like go up. Uh, what else do we want to look at? Go around and uh, flop so we can see from a like distance. The RWG mixer XML file. It's kind of uh, oh, you want a little me to... bit. Yeah, we'll show off the small world and then. Uh, Wait, the, the mixer trip. file itself? Uh, XML, I guess. I don't. I don't know if we should show it or not. They can probably poke around at it once they they get their. Yeah, hands you guys can. Uh... Yeah, but we have things that. tagged for districts. There will be a, a required POI tag. So POIs, like if it's a residential, you have to put a POI tag for residential in it. Yeah. And like it basically that controls what can be in that particular district. And that's it kind of feeds downwards. So like that's how you build custom towns with, and you just build custom districts and they have tags for specific POIs. And there's yeah, also a stuff. property for any district that says spawn custom size prefabs. Look at those big mountains in the background. Would fit in it, Look at that. And it will shove it up to the front it's center nice to see of that, that actually. area. It's not as accurate as using the actual POI sizes. Actual but it mountains. For different size POIs that don't match that to, you know, be grandfathered in, basically. Look at those mountains in the background. Yes. <laughs> gets yeah. me that's really, really cool. Oh, that looks great. That's the no, so that's part of the stamps. Yeah. That uh, Justin's done a lot of hard work on the stamps. Well, someone asked last year. It was mentioned that the goal for random gen was one minute per one k by one k world. How close did we get to that? Well, today generated a six k in four minutes and an eight k in six. So I'd say we're ahead of the uh, the desire. Reach the mountain goat. Thanks, Dante. It's looking good. <laughs> I mean, how much long has this thing got to go for? What are they going to show now? All right. I'm upsetting <laughs> the imposters by moving so fast. <laughs> Should have just stayed on a bike. Someone said on Robert on what kind of hardware. Well, I mean, um, I don't know. Mine's pretty decent. Um, we've but all I thought been the, 
Yeah, the testers have been doing it with less hardware. I mean, yeah, they've been doing it with stuff like Waylord and what. I think everybody's been caught in the the chip supply shortage and NVIDIA cards and whatnot. And a lot of us have wanted to build new computers and couldn't, which is probably actually a good thing because, uh, you know, we've all been playing and testing on our older rigs, you know, waiting for uh, cards to drop again. And uh, it, it runs pretty decent. Yeah, there's a lot less like double checking that has to be done with the the new system as far as on like, the Thank you. stamps uh, and that, the uh, layout awesome, of Thank cities you. and towns. Like just having all that logic like dumped off into content and letting them like the designers design that stuff. Like it lets them have more artistic freedom and gives better results. I mean, there's just no denying that. Another question. Let me know in the chat on where and which biome that you guys are going to set up your first base in Alpha Alpha uh, 20. Which biome? Mine's definitely going to be the forest biome for sure. I, I like that one by far. The, the desert doesn't look much like it's changed. Just the forest biome, the new texture. I love it. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, That was one of our big goals was to offload a lot of it to content. Is that big building? Two-bit tower. Oh, what's that? <laughs> two bit tower. It's got a name. No. What is that? That looks so familiar. <laughs> it's like I've been here before. <laughs> okay, I'm not going back in. Deja there. vu. Yeah. <laughs> forest, 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 forest. <laughs> Don't go in there. like forest, so yeah. Um, I'm the same. Yeah, you can make a 10k map. Um, 12k. I haven't supported it, but like. I guess you could probably could get away with it, but that's not officially supported. It's uh, currently it's six, eight, and ten k maps. Because okay, like so we're going up to the ten k, the ten k uh, now it can get a little heavy on the RAM when it's like putting placing all the towns and the wilderness POIs and everything else. And but I haven't personally ran it on a dedicated server without any of the overhead of previews or anything like that. So it may be different for for that. Yes, he's flying up. This you can get a better, a better idea when you have an aerial view, like this, so you can see. Yeah. Okay, that looks. Oh yeah, one of the things down there on the bottom left, that industrial area. See how you can see the ditch dug out down into the ground. Uh, that's a new thing that we added for this release, where you can see more of the terrain differences from farther away. So like it. It allows us to have like big ditches and like random gen, and you'd be able to guys, see guys, that. Guys, 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 guys! You see that big hill there? That is really cool. I like that a lot. That's like I don't know. That's like going up into another area. It's just like it's not just a hill. It's got something up there. You know, it's like you can live up there. And it looks like that's the burnt biome. That can't be the burnt biome. They removed that. Maybe it looks very burnt, doesn't it? Maybe it's the wasteland. Be ditched from far away rather than it just being flat. Yeah, maybe it's the wasteland burnt by Yeah. Know. That looks cool. I don't know. It's looking really good. It looks like a burnt The sizes biome. of the cities are amazing. But they combine the burnt biome uh, with the paths, wasteland. They now. no longer cross biomes. Um, if you get on a wilderness path in the desert, it will lead you to a POI in the desert. Like, they none of them will cross across anymore. So you you don't have to like wonder, hey, am I going to cross four biomes following this? No, you won't. I thought there were skyscrapers on here. We've been to the cities and I didn't see. Oh wait, no, that's right. I did see. Yeah, no, I didn't see him. Never mind. Well, they haven't added any new skyscrapers. I don't think so. They've added that, but that's it. No, because we were here earlier. Did you? Yeah, did we get any uh, pictures of seeds of maps today? I don't know. Uh, to when is the streamer release for A20? I'm not yeah. sure. Hopefully end of October, uh, maybe. Oh, I don't know. We just blame QA. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. They're in chat right now going, I can't believe <laughs> They're you guys. probably flipping out right now like, Can oh my you... god. We did this and you're not even looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> you're just saying we didn't do it. And that's fair. I mean, it's easier to say they didn't do it. It's... <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. 
Mm. It reminds me of the construction site where RJ always yeah. dies in Splash well. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Is there any other pieces you want to show us? I'm just kind of like giving bird's eye views of all this. Um, A very quiet well, we bird's eye view. <laughs> right. Well, it's you that didn't have the sound. I. You know what? I was just trying to help with. Um, um, yeah. All right. So there is one. There's a couple things like the gateway where the traders are. Just go to any trader real quick, and right. show them what a gateway is. And gateway? I guess what explain road exits. Um, okay. So you go to a trader. Yeah. Gateway. Trader. Uh, everybody Just likes John. Everybody likes Jin. <laughs> All right, so fly straight up and look down. Uh, this is a gateway. It's basically what leads into a town from a highway. I got like a slight bug over there on the top, but yeah, yeah, you it's... can see where the highway will connect to it, and on either end. So the other direction behind you, there's highway there too. Oh, look at that. Okay. And that's what leads into your towns. And the traders will always spawn there, and that basically keeps it so if you like you find a trader when you get different kind of quests they're going to lead you someplace that's not super far off that's definitely true <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah, look at that view uh, and the road ex the, the highways are attached to what we call road exit markers so that also on wilderness POIs, if you have a wilderness POI with like a gravel road on it, that's say five wide or four wide, then you can make a road exit marker in the POI editor that goes five across it. And that will make the, the uh, gravel road that leads to it that wide as well. And it'll connect to the center of that marker. So that's a weird with, town. Like, Certain There's another POIs trader here, though. know it needs a big like road leading up to it and oh, allows yeah. it to have a better look so it doesn't seem like weird that there's a two meter wide gravel path leading up to a main much much forest. much 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 better it's not just scattered all over the place like a huge mess as what it is currently it's all neatly packed like you know real life okay yeah and that's the country most places place. yeah no, this looks really good He hasn't taken us to the wasteland <laughs> farm. I would like to see that. Did we get curved cul-de-sacs very carefully. Yeah, we got curved cul-de-sacs. It, <laughs> it wasn't easy from what I understand. <laughs> How many shapes do you think that took? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had zombies turn off. Yep. Uh, oh, I think he restarted. Old country him. town, the new one of the new districts. Hmm. Didn't you have zombies turned off? He said that, didn't he? Yeah, they're they're kind of like the rural areas in a town. They're like the road layout's a lot looser, and I mean it still follows the grid pattern, but artistically you can do anything you want inside of that 150 by 150 tile space. So I like these little things here yeah, with the water. The artists, there's actually water in there. Look at that. You know, bit, so it didn't seem as much like a grid. Oh, that's cool looking. Oh, that's up. <laughs> I was like, what is that? And I was like, oh, wait, I know what that is. <laughs> it's funny coming at it from a certain angle through it. Yeah, no, I was like, wait a minute. I know that's, that's, COI, but that's I was something like, new. And then I was like, wait, oh, that's that. Okay. Never There's mind. no dust storm. That dust never you see, mind. it's always been in the game. <laughs> right. Uh, Gray. Eeyore out on us. For a while now, I think since okay. like Alpha 18. <laughs> um, Somebody's like, yeah, 17 or somewhere. <laughs> Uh, 18, 19. I know what's there. It's like a junction box. Yeah, a little road that goes around the back. Uh, is there any other... Anywhere else you want me to go? Can you think of anything, Eric? Anything specific? What the caves? Go to the caves. That looks so cool. So, so many caves. Let's see. We went through the dis on the districts, driving around. We showed old west towns. We showed a little bit, bit of sewers. Um, 
showed, we talked about parts honors. Um, if I could think of that one uh, POI that Laz made that had that really cool thing in the back, um, I would, but I forgot what the name or number or any of that is. Is it a POI or a tile? Yeah, it was a POI. It was with the shutter. <laughs> we don't have to show it. That's... And for us, oh, he said, he's zombies. in there. He said downtown Stir Foot 5. <laughs> okay. They go downtown and spawn like 25 zombies and have to chase you through downtown. Mr. Laz, man. Oh, Laz is here? I don't have a chat where I can see it. Okay, yeah, he said it was downtown Stir Foot 5. Mm, uh, can't. It's not here. Oh, we got six and seven. It's random. It's a random world. You didn't get that, that one. Is. Don't get everything. You, you don't all get would have saw something amazing. Sasha loves it. I don't know. I that know. sunset's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, look at that. Is. Look at that. Look at the mountain there. Let's just take a moment, everybody. Enjoy the quiet. But look at the sunset. <laughs> and the radio tower yeah. off in the distance. That is kind of cool. <laughs> No, but seriously, do y'all want me to go anywhere else? Uh, I guess head up the wasteland. Yeah, I want to see the wasteland. That'd be cool. Uh, we haven't seen that. Now. We've seen snow. We've seen. Uh, I mean, like, like fog. We got fog. Yeah. <laughs> you can see foggy Where, disruption. What would be the easiest way to find the wasteland? I don't know. Mm, Isn't that it over the there? To the, the right. Overlays. Oh, but I think it's just to your, like, turn right. Yeah, look at look how nice that looks on the map. Hang on a second, go back. I think it's just here. Like, look how nice the town looks on the map. Oh, that is so so clean. It looks like uh, city skylines or something like that. Man, when you look when you look at it like that, that's that's a huge 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 difference. Hmm. So much nicer compared to what we got now. Right. Wow. Yeah, that way. No, this is it over here. Over there. So now they've mixed the burnt biome it's with the wasteland cool. biome. Oh, that looks that looks good actually. That looks really really good. Yeah, that's, that's a good decision they made with mixing them. I think that. Uh, oh yeah, it's daylight kind of again. a mix of burnt forest. Yeah. And, uh, wasteland. That that actually looks pretty cool. It was actually a really good idea that did that. Look how nice it looks. It's one less biome, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, why do they still have this prison in the game? They need to revamp this prison, guys. It's a horrible, it's really horrible not. prison. Mm -mm. It's a terrible, terrible POI. Nice to base in, but like terrible design. The baseline really, you know, takes after that namesake. It's just a waste of land, everybody. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm here the rest of the night. Well, rest of the stream? One of those. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. And we found a bug today where um, all that work I did with the, the gravel paths and wilderness stuff, like if there's not a city hey, inside. Hey, this POI doesn't biome, connect anywhere. There's never a gravel path for any of the wilderness POIs. So I have to have it, or it'll like check. Look at that. that. This this pure doesn't go anywhere. I hate, I hate that. Not something else. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Just a little bug. Yeah. So, um, anything else you guys want me to show? Because uh, we may just start up on the uh, the Q and A. Everybody, if uh, we've kind of went you through. Want to, uh... What? Did you want to load up the POI editor and show a few tiles first? Yeah, because some of this uh, <laughs> is POI That's up to you. related. It's, okay. Well, it, it's kind of hard to understand how those tiles piece together unless you can see them. So. That's... Yeah, or the part system, some of that stuff's like... I mean, that, that won't take very long. So. No, no, no. We have time. I mean, like you guys cool want to show it. That you were doing, Eric, where you had the little farm with like the different plots on it using parts and it would spawn up a different little farm area each time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that that was really cool. To let you reuse a, a single prefab like multiple times and in multiple ways. Mm -hmm. 
It's very hot here, guys. Like, wow. Yeah, we're using that. The it's 40, 40 Celsius to there, like the farm fields. Because you can switch it out from like corn to blueberries or whatever by just loading a different part. And uh, so the parts have been pretty, pretty cool. Um, oh, hey, that sounds familiar. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Which one you were you? Oh, you, yeah, you were. I know yeah, what you were looking at. The restore power. <laughs> So just type RWG. Yeah, there's a, a lot of tiles. Underscore tile. And then I'll just show those. So we have like caps, corners, intersections, straights, and T's. You can just go to a commercial one, like commercial intersection. Yeah, you can just load up, start with Don't any. Don't you complain about it being cold? Really? Yeah. Huh. Um, so it's going into... Um, looks like. Well, it will um, be going into summer soon. Right, you can see all the colored POI markers here, and they're of specific sizes. And I think that one's the, what, 100? Is that 100? 100? No, that's the 60 by 60. Yeah, that's a 60. I think these are 42. Yeah, the 42 mediums. And if you hit shift enter, it'll bring up the window for all these POI mark or all the markers in the marker system. Mm -hmm. There's a part right there in the intersection, too. Yeah, right there in the... Yeah, the car accident part spawner. Click on it there in that list. Oh? And there it shows you, okay, the marker rotations, uh, the spawn chance, which is, you know, 20% spawn chance. Huh. And its position, any tags it may have, which we're expanding on that. And then its group name, which the group name is used to decide lot of things if there's more than one thing in one group it'll only spawn one of those things in that group if it's wow okay spawner. that's actually pretty cool yeah this is really cool i didn't even know this was here and then I'm trying to think of which ones i put road exits on well you can go to the uh, gateway if you open up the gateway tile okay uh is it already that one Gateway yeah. cap. Yeah. I love those little trenches and, uh, there with the. See it either uh, end there, those little yeah, uh, the square pipes bits. That is a road exit marker. If you hit shift enter, like you can size these based on where this, basically on uh, what size you want in the center of where it is. Which for the highways on these specifically, like it's always going to be the same size for the highway. But these allow allow the system to know where to connect the highways between towns. So you could have multi, like a third road coming off of that, or you know just one. However you wanted to, wanted to do it, but you, it would be considered a gateway cap. It's like its own internal district that we use for the entrance to towns. Two. Would you like me to show something else? Um. There's a to the left there on this one. The SMG looks different. There's two uh, or uh, part spawners there. You can see the two different blue boxes. One spawns one thing, and the other one spawns a different thing. And they're under the same group, so it'll only pick one of those. And that allows it to have more variance for this just one gateway tile. You saw nothing. Uh, I don't know what I just clicked, but we'll just. just like, <laughs> it happens, everybody. It's a feature. Yeah. But yeah, I guess we can. Uh, we like write the red it. text, everybody. We just like seeing it from time to time. It's not always a bug. It's just. Mm -hmm. I clicked through it really fast. It actually said, I hope you have a great day. <laughs> so, right. Well, it's just words of encouragement. It's not. It's not always a bug whenever that pops down. Um, okay, well. You want to load up a few more tiles? Yeah. Alright guys, if they're just going to show tiles and tiles and tiles, I've kind of seen what I've seen. I don't think I'm going to continue this because I am sweating and I need to go and get in front of a fan or something because it's crazy this. But yeah, the random gen, guys, is just looking really, really good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to get to be playing this. Uh, there's, there's a farm. Which is a little dicier, so it's only going to be in testing, and it may not even wow. be in 820. 
That is. But we're we're continually expanding on this, and we want to do a whole lot more with it because there's just so much. Yeah. That so I'm not going to go through this. What I'll do is uh, on the end of the stream now. Thank you everyone for watching, and uh, if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. We just hit twenty thousand subscribers. I'm gonna take a, this link and I'm gonna put it in the chat. So if you want to watch the rest, you can. I can't continue, guys. It is way too hot in here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go. Oh, you're gonna miss a random. I'm gonna miss a random gen. What do you mean? Oh, is he creating one? I see. I see. I can't continue, guys. Yeah, I, I need to. But I I'm probably go. gonna expand that so you can use a POI marker and spawn a named POI there. It'll just. It, it's gonna be set up differently. You than can see how it looks. One. And it's it's really easy to do. Like. <clears throat> it's probably two lines of code, so it's not like something that's hard to put in for you guys to be able to do that. We just hadn't had a need for it, so I hadn't put it in yet. Wow. So you can... Oh, look at that, guys. You can actually create your own world, mini towns. Uh, this is actually very similar to Nitrogen, where you can have cracks, lakes, plains, hills, mountains, random. That is freaking awesome. That is going to be fun to mess around with. I hope it's like really different. So yeah, that's that's really cool. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave this, this link in the chat before I go. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. And I'll check you guys next time when it is a little bit colder. Bye-bye. <laughs>